Welcome to Best Tech, Philip Emisa. Thank you. Okay. I know you're a university graduate. I'm sure you were expecting that you'll be in an office, but here you are, a painter. Definitely. Tell us more about it. Well, when I was done with my national service, um, I wasn't. I sent out some applications for the course I did. I did health and safety in the school. Okay. So I sent out um, my application to the manufacturing companies and then the industrial ones. Um, none of them actually picked me. So I was, I was frustrated, honestly. And then I wanted to paint my room. So I went to buy a brush and then the paint. And then I decided to paint. As I was just painting, the so it just cut my head. It just cut my head. So after that, I realized that what I did was really nice. So I decided to try it out for a few friends, pro bono. So I did it for those guys and then, you know, I met um, my boss. He asked me if I'm a painter, actually. I said yes. But honestly, I didn't know much. But you were not a painter at the time. I was not even a painter at the time. I didn't know much. But I was ready to go for it because I can apply the paint. So I decided to join him. And then after, I, when I got to the site, I, I got to learn a whole lot of things. I got to learn a whole lot of things. Um, that's how come I advanced into industrial painting. You made use of the internet as well? I made use, I always make use of the internet. Always. There is not a single day I don't watch something on painting. Okay. So this is your full-time job or your side hustle? This is my full-time job. How many people have you been able to employ or train so far? If you're speaking in terms of employment, not less than 30 people. On payroll? On payroll. Oh. If you're talking about people that are working as trainees, they are about 15. So this is not the only site that I'm working on. The others are different sites working too. Yeah. He said you've employed about 30 people oh, yeah. and the trainees are 15. Yes. How old are you? I'm just 24 years, going to 25. 24? Yes, 24 years. Wow. I look big and stout, but this is the only 24 year old CEO of <laughs> what's the company again? Colorful Vision Artists. I see. So, aside painting, what else do you do? I do interior deco, mm -hmm. I do POP ceilings, I do epoxy, flooring, I do terrazzo, I do tiling mm -hmm. as well. Okay. So, can you delve more into each of them? So, um, the POP ceiling. Is um, the design ceilings that um, a whole lot of us know about. It's a new kind of ceiling. It's been there long ago. But then there is a new one which is plasterboard as well. Mm. It's been added to it. You can fix your lights in it. This LED light giving you a whole different colors. And listen, that's the plasterboard ceiling. Mm. It comes in conjunction with the POP ceiling. Mm. So the same way that the POP ceiling is done. The process is a little bit different from the plasterboard. We have the, uh, the tiling. We don't know how the tiling is. Um, it's about uh, fixing your tiles on the ground with the mortar and the tile adhesive. And then the terrazzo. So having your terrazzo stores, mixing with the mortar. And applying. We have the washable one. And washable one, tiles? The terrazzo. Ah, OK. Well. Yeah. The, we have the washable one, and then we have the polished one. What's the difference? So we have a terrazzo that you wouldn't have to polish. It will just, you just have to sweep over it. When you cast it on the ground, you just have to wash over it, that's all. Okay. Good to go. But then the polished terrazzo is the one that they use a grinding machine to grind it. It looks very polished. You can actually see your reflection in the terrazzo floor. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And then we have epoxy floor. The epoxy flooring has to do with um, fixing, um, making, it's a type of flooring that is uh, a waterproofing floor as well as uh, a design floor for industrial areas. Mostly we do industrial places. Mm. Uh, okay. Now, um, epoxy, you can fix even your picture mm. on the ground. Wow. You do the epoxy on it. Oh. The picture will be on the ground. Every design you want can be done on the ground for you with the epoxy. Now let's go back. How did you get your first job? 
Well, my first job it was it was um, <laughs> it's a lot of memories, you know. <laughs> Tell us about it. Makes it makes a lot of memories. Mm. But I think um, I'll tell you the short part of it. Okay. I'll tell the short part. Because so I went for a friend's funeral, mm. and then at the friend's funeral, I saw this uncle, a, a building which is not completed. And then I was like, "Oh, I think I can, I can paint this. Why don't I go ask around for it?" So I just asked around who owns this building, and some my friend directed me that it's for this person. So when I went, it was actually a family member. Your family member? Wow. <laughs> That's how I got the job. Hmm. Yeah. So I got my first job at around fifteen thousand. 15,000 cities or dollars? No, cities. Okay. 15,000 cities. Oh, that's my first job. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So how did you feel after seeing the finished work no, for your I, first I, job? I, 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 I was relieved. I, I grew the, the love for painting because um, the idea of painting is almost about life. Mm. It, it, it shows me the kind of steps the things you would have to go through to become the person you want to you want to be. Mm. So you look at this building, we are applying filler, we are applying primer, we are sandpapering, we are dusting it. All these processes takes time. Mm. And then after we put the finished work on it, mm. it comes out so nice. So as, apart from your first job, I'm sure you did others before this very big contract. You want more details in that too? I've done a lot of big jobs, mm. you know, um, so when you go to Mokola mm. Commercial Bank, the one opposite the snake, yeah. parking lot, I painted that building. Oh! Um, the GCB Bank, I yeah. painted that. I painted Academic City University, mm. Academic City College rather. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, I'm here. How did you get all these contracts? So, um, all these contracts are given to me by my boss. Who is your boss? You've been mentioning your boss. His name is Joshua um, Dadeyabua. Okay. And how did he become your boss? So... Because you're a brand, you're a company on your own, you learned everything on your own, and now you're saying your boss. So my boss polished me. Okay. Now, painting is not just about putting paint on the wall. He taught me leadership skills, how to lead people, how to spot problems. He helped me open my eye to be paying attention to details. And all these jobs, he gets it. And then he passes it on to me, so I do with the boys. Okay. So, he's my superior okay. when it comes to the job. Mm -hmm. But then he encourages that I bring young guys on, young guys who are we didn't get the privilege to go to school, we didn't get the chance to be helped by others. He encouraged me to bring all these boys on. So he helps me train these people, he gives them the platform. This is the platform, a big working space for all these people to learn. So their learning time is fast. People learn painting for three years. I teach it in one month. Oh. So she tell you how intensive the training here is. Mm. Yeah. So how much do they pay for the training? They don't pay anything. So how do I apply? Well, I'm actually looking forward to having ladies on site, actually. Oh, um, I see. Yes. <laughs> As I said earlier, it, 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 it's my dream mm. to have ladies painting. Because um, in Ghana here, it's, uh, painting has been branded as a, a male-oriented job. Mm. But I'm telling you, Trying to be fascinated to see females painting. I see. I have one simple rule. The client is always right. No, but you can also give advice. Now, I give my advices to the client. Okay. Now, your, I don't go against your wish as a client. But then what I do is that I'll try to give you a better option. Try to give you a better option that this color will rather best fit for this job. But if you insist on you want it, I will let you have it. But I will let you sign an NDA. Mm. That this, if it messes up, you don't blame me for it. Mm. Yes. The wall is 
There's no slime, no crack on this wall. We make sure that even the back of the socket, mm. we feel it, the eaves, the, the, the side between the seam and the wall itself, we feel it with filler mm. to make sure that there is no space left unattended to. Okay. So the room looks almost close to perfect mm. after the painting is done. Okay. How much do you normally charge and then does the cost um, cover the paint you go and buy on the market? So if the client wants me to buy the paint, I will. Okay. If the client wants me to direct him where to buy it, I will. Okay. I have my brands that I use. Hmm. So they are trusted brands that I use. So I will recommend it for you and then I'll give you the technical data sheet as well. Read through it. Know exactly what it does, the technical properties of the paint. Okay. Then you will buy it. If you want to buy it, you're fine. You can okay. go to the factory and produce it for you. Okay. If you want me to buy it, I'll still buy it. So if I already have the paint and I ask you to come and do the painting, how much does that cost? So everything done here is in square meters. Okay. The tiling, the POP, the painting is in square meters. It means there are measurements in everything. Measurement. So I can oh. measure this whole place. And I'll tell you that 10 buckets will be able to do this job. And then it will be done in three days by four boys. Mm. The measurements I do will tell me the number of days that the boys will work, mm. the amount of money I'm supposed to charge you. Okay. And then the paint, the number of materials that you have to buy. Okay. Accurately. Mm. Yes. Okay. So this room is... What centimeters over what? So this is about almost about 50 square meters. Okay. I see. Oh, so math runs through everything in yes, your job. Yes. Math runs through everything. So if you are not too good in yes. math, can you still do this job? You can still do it because okay. I'll teach you how to do it. Okay. It's not any serious math that you have to be so scared about. Hmm. You just have to know how to measure your height, your length, you multiply it. Okay. So just this and this, you get the square area for this. Mm. If you want the floor, you measure here to this place, here to this place, you have your square area. Mm. So every square meter and how much you charge per square meter. Okay. So if I say that I charge five cities per square meter, and I know that this place is 10 square meters, then I know that five times 10 mm. is <laughs> 50, right? Yes. So then that's the money I'm, I'm going to charge you. So um, we, we, we are coming to an age where clients feel, they feel that painters let them overestimate or they underestimate. Mm. So now if you, you can tell them that this is the amount of paint you are buying, this is your measurement. The measurement says this, I'm charging you this because we charge this per square meter. This is the amount of paint and then filler and then all the materials you will need. So please provide it for me. If it's provided, the client wouldn't have to get the headache of you coming to tell the person that, oh, the, the paint got finished. Mm -hmm. I need money to go buy it again. Yeah. They buy it once. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. The measurement mm -hmm. will tell you how serious your workers are. Okay. So if I know that my worker should be able to do 100 square meters a day, mm -hmm. and then I come and 50 square meters is done, I will know that the worker didn't work well. Mm. Because the measurement will tell me the number of days that yes. I'm supposed to let the guys work for you. Yeah. Huh. So it's very vital. Yeah. Okay. So your advice to young ones who are home and are still waiting on um, corporate bodies to call them? We got guys like my type on, on, on the ground. Mm. You just have to come. Come and learn something. You have to come, come and learn something, because we are giving it to you for free. Okay. I was giving painting for free, so I'm giving it out for free. We can't all be in the office. Not everybody can be in the office. It doesn't mean your life has to end that way. You can come, do something with your ten hands. You got this. That's all you need to make it. So with a little education and then polishing of your skills, you can do better than somebody who is even sitting in the office. Okay. So it's not late for anybody. Whether you're illiterate or illiterate, wherever you are, just come. There's a chance for you to learn. Okay.
All right. Like he said, we all can't be in the office. Don't give up yet because the corporate body is not calling you to take up that position you applied for. So be ready to work with your hands, as he said. Be your own boss and then life goes on.